Hey, good Monday morning, Facebook peeps. How's everybody doing? Got my hat on because I just came out of the gym, the shower. My hair is all like curly and I'm a you know a little bit OCD about my hair and making it straight. But today, letting it go au naturel. So how's everybody doing this morning? Just going to wait a few minutes and see who's jumping on. Oh my goodness. It's Monday. Magical Monday. That's why I'm here. Monday, October the 1st. So who's excited about Monday? Who's excited about October? Love to see you guys jump on and comment. So we're just going to wait a few minutes. I'm not sure where everybody is. So as you guys come on, good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm just going to tag a few people and see who's coming on. Okay. Good morning. So happy to see you guys here. Good morning. Good morning, Karen, Cindy, love to see you guys join me. Good morning, waiting for some folks to jump on. How's everybody doing this morning? All right, let's see what happens here now. Okay, I lost my picture. Okay, hey Mark Koberg, how are you? Nice to see you here, my friend. What's the weather like there in London town? Actually, no, you live in Wales, don't you? Good morning, good morning, good morning. All right. Not sure where everybody is. Let me just... Are you still in action, Mark? I got some exciting things to share with you about getting your month started. So I'm just going to wait a few minutes and you and I can chat while everybody is... Uh, Sunny Wales, that's okay. Is it often sunny there? Because usually it's cloudy. <laughs> All right, so it sounds like you're having a good morning. You had a good week. <laughs> Mark, you're too funny. Dull and gray. Oh, that's too funny. All right, hey, Mark, how are you? Got the marks, Mark squared. How's everybody doing this morning? Waiting for a few people to jump on and join us. I'm getting a lot of messages. I said to people, I'm going on my Facebook Live. So guys, here it is. It is Monday, Magical Monday. I'm grateful that you are here. Those of you who are live and in person, there's my mom. Hope you got everything sorted out with your phone, mom. Hey, beautiful Martina. Nice to see you this morning. And uh, you know what? I got to say, Martina, you inspire me with all your posts and your dedication and your commitment to your goals. And this morning, I'm going to be talking about that. So maybe you and I can chat, right? So because you are definitely someone who's goal oriented and committed to getting, you know, to staying on track. So um, I'll see if I can figure that out, how to bring how to bring you on. Hey, Leilani. Oh my God, all the beautiful people are here this morning. So guys, it's Monday, October the 1st. And I know some of you are like, brr, it's nippy out. I've got my vest on. I actually love the fall. It's my favorite, favorite time of year. We've had such a hot summer. I know a lot of the folks that I visited in England and in Wales have had like an unbelievably hot summer. They don't have air conditioning over there. So they were just dying. And I know when I was there visiting, you know, the lush green fields weren't so lush and green. So um, you know what? Seasons change, people change, things change. Change is good. And this morning I wanted to talk about how we can have change but still stay on track and get to where we're going. So, hey mom, how are you doing? I hope you got things, as I mentioned, sorted out with your phone. So, guys, my mom, oh my God, she's 87. She's going to be 88 this year. Oh my, like you have to go check her out. And she knows everything that's going on in Facebook. So watch out, those of you, you know, my mom is kind of stalking you guys. So, all right, well, let's get cracking. It's uh, Monday, October the 1st. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy that you've joined me here. And I wanted to chat about something that I think, and when I'm talking to you guys, I'm often teaching myself first. And this is something that, this is the principle that I've been using for many, many, many years because as a flight attendant, 
I had everything done for me. My schedule was handed to me, um, and Leilani, you know all about this. Leilani works uh, uh, at, at the airport. Hey, Alex Chan, another airline friend. And you know what, you guys? Hey, Linda, how are you? So in my previous life as a flight attendant, my schedule was handed to me. Sometimes I had a choice in it. I showed up at the airport. I got on an airplane. You know, you got to be there on time or your job left without you. And um, I did my due as a flight attendant and I had some downtime on a layover. And then I did the whole thing coming back and then poof, that was it. And then I went about living life and doing my own thing. And then all of a sudden I'm thrown into this world of being an entrepreneur and it's like, what, what do I do? What do I say? Uh, there, oh, there's money to be made. Well, how do I make money? So I had to learn to develop some skills that I didn't learn from being a flight attendant. Right. And so in this world of entrepreneurship, it's incumbent upon us because I have my own online business. I'm partnered with a company that does all that other stuff that people in a traditional business do. Uh, and my job is to be a brand ambassador and to share what I love, to share my success, to share what I found that's worked for me and share it with the people who are expressing some um, challenges about, hey, you know what, I need that. Right? So whether it's a healthier body, whether it's um, making a little bit of extra income to, to create some elasticity in the household budget. So my online business allows me to work from anywhere in the world. And with some beautiful people that I got to meet in England are here listening in. So guys, I wanted to share with you some of the tips. Nathan Static, nice to see you, my friend. I wanted to share with you some tips that I use in the beginning that helped me develop this incredible business, this global business, and where did it all start? And I gotta give credit to my husband, who's a very successful um, businessman. He was the president of his company, and I often said to him, how did you do what you did? How did you take your company from $10 million in sales to a hundred million. That's a big number uh, because here I am, I've got these wonderful products. I want to share them with some people and I know how to talk, but I don't know how to make that talking turn into money. And so one of the key things that I found is I was just bouncing from day to day, bouncing from day to day. Hey, Lars. Um, and I was like, well, what do I do every day? And pretty soon the week had passed and pretty soon the month had passed and pretty soon a, a, a season had passed and I was asking things like, what happened? I wanted to do this and I hoped I'd achieve this, but I'm sort of back at square one. So if you have a pen and a piece of paper, I'd encourage you to write this down. If you're listening to this in um, replay time, you'll have time to stop and start the video. And I would encourage you to, to take some notes. Hey, Barbara. Yeah, Barbara says, I know the feeling. Yeah, Barb, before you know it, it's like, whoa, how did I get here, right? And so it requires a bit of planning, whether it's a business that you want to move forward, whether it's a body that you want to create some different results, whether it's, it could be a personal goal. And I found a little piece of paper that um, when I was cleaning out some drawers, doing some spring cleaning, and it was some notes that my husband had made, and it was what he wanted to accomplish in a five-year time span, right? Five years. Where would he be in five years? And I heard Galen Weston, who is, I think he's the well, him and his wife are the owners of Loblaws and Gail and Weston Industries, a very, very successful businessman. And I listened to um, a lecture that he did on compartmentalizing, ooh, that's a big word, putting your life into compartments in five year segments. Because guys, I'll tell you, uh, 30 to 40 went by in a blink of an eye. And at 40, I was like, what happened? Where did that decade go? So at 40, I decided I wanted a different ink outcome, 
right? I wanted a different outcome in my life, in my relationships, in my body, in my mind. And I fell into this profession of network marketing. And I'll tell you in my very first business, the thing that I had to learn most was about me about these things, things that the little ticker tape parade that was going on in my mind. And um, I had to say I got my PhD in network marketing and I was ready now, I was ready and prepped to make some money. And um, luckily a friend of mine reached out to me and I joined the current company that I'm with. And I started to employ a lot of the skills that I learned in my previous life. And I'll tell you that my husband paid me a very well, I would say it's one of the highest compliments he paid me. He said, you may not have made a lot of money in that company, Carolyn, but the person that you are today is not the person you were six years ago when you started. So if you're measuring your bank account solely by the dollars and cents, I'm going to ask you to add in what I call psychic income, the, the kind of income that you can't measure by counting, but it's who you are today versus who you were yesterday or a month ago or three months ago or a year ago or five years ago right and how do you know how do you measure that so here it goes it's what I call my five part goal planning or business plan or life plan whatever it is and you can apply these uh, five tips to any amount of time Okay, so who's ready? Who wants to know my, my five-part plan on creating some, uh, some success in your life? Who wants to know? Just blow me a kiss, give me a high five, an emoji. Anybody? Anybody? Okay, wait for it. Here it goes. So, got your pen? Number one, set a goal. I just sailed through life, you guys. I didn't have a goal. I didn't know what I wanted. I just sort of got pulled in different directions. Hey Casey, nice to see you. So set a goal. One of the goals, I'm gonna just show you a little picture here. I meant to have my, meant to have my props. Uh, one of my goals was I was, you know, 49, putting on weight and it was like, whoa, how did I get here, right? I used to be able to eat anything, anywhere, anytime and nothing happened, right? Hey, Sapphire, nice to see you here this morning. And all of a sudden, the tide shifted. And I'm like, whoa, where did that spare tire come from? So I set a goal and entered, uh, I know this is backwards, something our company has called the Ice Body Challenge. But here's the deal, you guys. I entered that Ice Body Challenge eight times, but I never finished. I never finished. Yeah, Erica, boom, set a goal. So my goal was to complete the Isobody Challenge. And sometimes you end up on a brochure when you do that. So that was me at 58. I'm now 63. I'll be 64 in November. So number one, set a goal. I set a goal that I was not happy with the results of the, 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 you know, the Canadian spare tire, as I call it. And I got into action. Well, actually, that's number, th uh, number three. Number two was create a plan of action. So it meant that I had to get some help because obviously what I was doing, I thought I was working out, but it wasn't... <laughs> wasn't working, the results weren't showing. So then I decided to, and I was in Florida at this time, so I joined a gym and I went into the gym and I said, who's the best trainer in this gym? Because I wanna work out with that person. And guys, you know what? Interview those people, share your goal with them and interview them and make sure that they're on board with your goal. So I told my trainer, this was my goal. I wanted to enter this and I wanted results. So we looked up the challenge rules together and he agreed to create a plan of action that would get me from where I was, which was sort of frumpy and a little bit overweight, to a place of definition. So I had a goal to drop my body weight, uh, my body mass index from 31% uh, 
move the needle. And I asked him, what's realistic? He said, well, let's do 10 points. So I said, okay, is that realistic for somebody my age? Right? Hey, Denise, Denise knows all about this, right? So I want, I wanted to drop my weight, but more importantly, I wanted my body mass index. Am I saying that right, Denise? <laughs> I want, because people would say, oh, Carolyn, you don't look fat, but I, I didn't feel good. I felt like chubby, right? Yeah, that was me. So number one, I set a goal. I was entering this challenge. Number two, I created a plan of action. I joined a gym. I hired a trainer and we set days to work out. So he gave me a, a, a workout plan. I executed on three days a week and in between I was playing golf two days a week, right? Hey, hey, Denise. So set a goal, create a plan of action. Number three, I had to execute that goal, get into action. So it meant that I had to put my workout clothes on, get into the gym and follow. I trained with him once a week and then I followed the plan that he created for me um, on, the, on the next two days, right? But it meant commitment, right? Commitment. You guys, so many of us, we set a goal, we have the plan of action and we don't commit. And that was what was lacking in my life from my 30s to my 40s. And I just wanna check the time here because I don't wanna carry on. Are you guys finding this um, helpful, right? And we, hey, on, hey, Pat, oh my goodness. You know, one of the most successful coaches that I know, Pat Mizu is on, right? And Pat is all, yeah, consistency, Pat. Pat is all about consistency. And she's one of the best goal setters that I know. And you, Pat, you nailed it, right? Because it's not about this week, I work out three times and I follow the plan. And next week, I'm going to just do whatever, right? It's consistently following the plan. And you won't get to the result if you don't follow the plan, right, Erica? Absolutely, I love it. Yeah, thank you, Mark. Thank you guys for participating. And so, set a goal, create a plan of action, get into action, and um, Denise, you're right, setting dates is so important, and then, hey, I'm gonna get to it. You're giving away the answer. Get into action is number three. Number four, number four is to monitor your plan of action. Because I'll tell you guys, in my first month, I'm going to the gym, I'm working out. Um, hey, Linda. And a month later, I'm like, I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> I'm complaining, right? And um, you've heard the phrase, Rome wasn't built in a day. And so uh, my trainer, thankfully, this is really important when you have an accountability a buddy or somebody that you're reporting into. Um, he just said, Carolyn, how long have you been dealing with this issue? And do you think 30 days is sufficient to totally transform your body? He said, give it a season, right? He's a wonderful Christian young man, just like me. And he said, God created these seasons. It, does, it isn't winter, one month, summer, next month, spring, you know, right? So the season, I said, all right, 90 days, I'm going for it. And so I just kept going. I kept going. I kept showing up. I kept going to the gym. And uh, when I found that something wasn't working, we would tweak it. So we monitored the progress I was making and then he upped my game a little bit because he could see that I was making some progress. I was getting a little bit stronger because I have some you know, serious back issues and I wanted to make sure I wasn't doing anything to injure my back, right? So number four is monitor your progress. So Denise, I'm getting to your points. And number five, number five, if you're not making progress, then you need to course correct, right? So if you're doing the do, if you're doing the do and you're not getting the results, you gotta look at what is it you're doing that's not producing the results. So here's my mom, she's 87, and she has completed six isobody challenges, no, four, and, and she's now on to five, I think that's what she's saying. So that's pretty cool, because she's always saying to me, Carolyn, can you come over and take my measurements? Because what's really cool is the a company that we're with, they reward people for completing something that they started, and you get like $200 in, um, you know, in product coupons that you can use to keep going, and a t-shirt, and I didn't wear my isobody hat, I meant to do that so, since I'm talking about this. So, um, yeah, cleanse days, right? Thank you, Linda. 
I do a cleanse day. Mora is on here. I do a cleanse day every Monday. So committing to things that will get you to where you want to go, you guys. So I use this. Here's my notes. Very, yeah, very, mm -hmm, very professional. So number one, set a goal. Number two, create a plan of action. Number three, get into action, you guys. So many people are getting ready to get ready and they're in a place of frustration. That was me for a decade, from 30 to 40, getting ready to get ready for what? I didn't know, right? Number three, get into action. Number four, monitor your progress. And number five, course correct. So if you have a business, that you're partnered with somebody or a company or whatever, right? If you have a coaching business like Pat, this is a formula that I know um, that she has used uh, consistently to get her to a place of where she's at, right? And so guys, pretty soon you'll look around and you'll go, I look at my 40s, okay, making some progress, I get to 50, now it's like, okay, I got to make it count. So from 50 to 60, I can tell you, so this is 20 years that I've been at this, 20 years of applying this principle. Um, and if you look at my Facebook post from the weekend, people who turn around and say, I don't know how I got here. I don't know what's going on. How did I get here? It's using these principles that have helped me build the kind of life that I get to enjoy today. A life based on my terms. And yes, Pat, your accountability is key. Uh, when I started out, I had to have that. Now I'm pretty good. I'm in the gym three, four days a week uh, because it's become a habit. I've cultivated this. So when I started out, I said, I'm sharing this with you guys because a lot of it is for me. I kind of fell off the wagon in employing this in my particular business. So I wanna share this with you because it's the beginning of October. So I wanna ask you to ask yourself, where will you be at the end of October? What are the things that you want to accomplish? Here's the calendar, it's a blank slate. And I break it down into weekly increments that I can break down into daily increments. Hey, beautiful Laura, we have our Isobody UK grand champion who just jumped on. Laura, um, go listen to my, um, go listen to my, what am I doing? Facebook Live in replay time because I think this will help you. So wonderful to see you, sweetheart. So here it is. Get yourself an agenda, right? So I'm looking at, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to map out how I want my October to look like, right? So I, I do carry, the, this, this calendar is for my husband and myself. This is mine. So I have my, my blank slate. So today I'm going to be calendaring a lot of events, uh, things that I've committed to, things that I want to accomplish. I'm measuring sort of my, you know, how am I doing? Because your health comes first before anything else. And so in your business, where do you want to be? What do you want to accomplish? Is your is the, the company that you're with, do they have any kind of um, promotions out there that you want to participate in, right? So calendar all these things, you guys, calendar, 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 because if you don't write it down, it won't get done. So I hope this has helped you today. If it has, feel free to share it in any of your Facebook groups that you're, um, that you're in, share it with a friend because I never learned this principle and I wish somebody had taught it to me many decades ago. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being here. Have a magical Monday, have a magical week and um, next week's Thanksgiving. So um, have fun this week, have fun with your families and I'll see you on the next magical Monday live. Bye everybody.